Biscuits, it's Cupcake Kami Summer back here, and welcome to another more light hearted video. Have you ever had an idea you loved so much that you wished you could wear? Do you dream of printed dresses that you do not possess the skills required to make? Are you sending prayers into the ether that someone else one day makes those wishes come true? If so, then you are not alone. With Lolita Fashion being full of wonderful designs featuring original artwork in the form of border prints, there already is loads to satisfy probably everyone. But as the forever unsatisfied beings hunting for more that we are, Lolitas will always have at least one idea that they wish existed in dress form. Right now, I happen to have three. First one, and the one most likely to actually come into fruition, is a Postman Bears print from Meta. Yes, it has to be specifically from Metamorphose Ton de Fille, because they already have a series of prints involving bears doing jobs that bears should not be doing. Meta gave us tailor bears, baker bears, chocolatier bears, patissier bears, toy soldier bears, sailor bears, train conductor bears, bear artists, a bear band. Where are the postmen? Give them adorable uniforms, line the background with plenty of beautiful post boxes, make wax sealed letters fly around them, just let us have this dream of a print and throw some money at you, please. The second print that I wish existed is a lot less tangible, so allow me to explain a bit of the background to it. One of the things that had a big impact on me growing up were Arthurian legends, particularly the version of them presented in Mists of Avalon. Whilst part of me feels like there has been, a print inspired by the myths of King Arthur produced by some Chinese brand? I can't remember for sure. And if it was there, I likely haven't bought it because it wasn't quite to my taste. I don't necessarily want the actual legends depicted on the prints. Instead, I'd rather see symbols and references made to them through objects and composition. Ideally, with a touch of fantasy or medieval flair through cut choices or features. There's a release from The Strawberry Witch, another Chinese brand, which had an embroidered tree of Gondor, and I think that this sort of style would be perfect for a design inspired by Arthurian legends. Again, the reason I'm talking about it in this video is because I don't have the skills required to design it, but I envision it including Excalibur, probably some crowns, maybe the Holy Grail, and if it included Avalon's Crescent Moon 2, then I'd be absolutely over the moon, pun intended. Last, but by no means least, and back to something very tangible, I would love to have the Lennox Spice Village immortalized as a Lolita print. For those not in the know, the Lennox Spice Village is a collection of ceramic spice jars, and more, each shaped like an adorable house which will form the cutest little village or town when gathered together. Whilst mass-produced, these are highly collectible right now, and I am extremely lucky to own a few myself. They are very much where, on an emotional plane, I exist in my mind. However, for all the prints with cute houses that are already out there, none are quite hitting that same aesthetic. They're either not pastel enough or not balancing the sweet and the classic elements in the same way, or it's the cuts that are actually getting in the way. This is the kind of print that feels like Innocent World should have nailed by now, but we're talking Innocent World of like 2013, 2014, when they were in their peak sweet classic era, which they have stopped doing since. So I'm not sure who could it be now. Probably some Western indie brand, to be honest, especially given that the Lennox Spice Village is most popular in the United States. Although, of course, it's hard to just will such specific print ideas into existence, the cause is not entirely hopeless. Back in the day, I used to wish that there was a Lolita dress inspired by the Polish national dress, which I was fully willing to have commissioned. And then lo and behold, 
Baby the Star Shine Bright came along and produced precisely that, really nailing the design in the process. So there is hope that one day something that fits the descriptions of these three will come along. Until then, I'll keep wishing on every shooting star I find and will keep my fingers crossed that whenever they might appear, I will have the money required to purchase them. And on that note, Thank you all so much for watching this brief indulging video. Let me know what kinds of prints you wish would exist that you would pounce on in an instant or whether you'd also be joining me in fighting for any of the ones that I've described. If you'd like to support me in making more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, both of which are completely free ways in which you can help my channel grow. I also have a coffee account for one-off tips and a patron if you would like to join the exclusive club of regular supporters which starts as low as one dollar a month and as always there is more lolita fashion related content over on my blog which is cupcakes and unicorns thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next video take care bye